Governor Jerry Brown commented today that Arizona and Nevada's gun laws were wide open and that we are a, quote, gigantic backdoor through which any terrorist can walk. Tonight, Governor Ducey released this statement saying, quote, all of Arizona mourns for the victims in California to politicize the tragedy of this magnitude and use it as an opportunity to attack our state is out of bounds. Not only will we be ignoring Governor Brown's advice, but I call on him to retract his incredibly thoughtless and ill-advised comments, end quote. And while federal agents search another home in connection to the San Bernardino shooters, the president prepares to take to the airwaves tomorrow following the worst terrorist attacks on U.S. soil since 9-11. Fox News correspondent Adam Housley has the latest. President Obama spent part of Saturday in the White House Situation Room being briefed by his national security team about the attack. But in his taped weekly media address, the president called for stricter gun control legislation. We know that the killers in San Bernardino used military-style assault weapons, weapons of war, to kill as many people as they could. It's another tragic reminder that here in America, it's way too easy for dangerous people to get their hands on a gun. Early Saturday, the FBI made a tactical entry into a home in Riverside, California. Investigators say the house in that city belongs to a former neighbor of Saeed Farouk. The 28-year-old and his 29-year-old wife, Tafshin Malik, are believed to be the lone attackers who killed 14